So the last year of you using, what were you doing? Uh, a lot of driving around town. A lot of uh, you're scra- in Malibu. Yeah, a lot yeah, of scratch yeah. off tickets. <laughs> a lot of drive through car washes. Yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, just I'm just using just Met- meth. Oh no, Adderall. I was Adderall. 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 Yeah, sorting out. I love pills. I'm a pill billy. I love pills too. I fucking love pills. I love pills so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thing. yeah, it's my jam. But anyway, it's um, such a good secret. Yeah, it's, it's good why else do you have this little pocket here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not for my bike. For mustard or ketchup packet. No. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! I must no. never bump into anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a thing on TikTok, but yeah, maybe yeah. it was a. Uh, I think, believe it's for a watch back in the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? Pocket and what watch. is this one for? The handker- the, the kerchief. Yes. The kerchief. The pocket square? I'm sure, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know what you're talking about. Right now, <laughs> yeah, pocket the, square. Pocket yeah. square. Yeah. Oh, you mean, oh, you, oh, on a like on t-shirts cigarette, even. Cigarettes. Is it cigarettes? Because I know you put your cigarettes I put my cigarettes there, there yeah. And I, I put my heart there. <laughs> mm, cutie. I love when you guys did that uh, podcast where you had to tell the truth or take a shot. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's uh, right. I was yeah. really, it made me like love the two of you. <laughs> it was so honest and beautiful. Yeah, it showed yeah. like a very deep... Deep love, like it was really great. I actually had a big cry in the shower right before I got here. Thanks for mentioning that. And it was because I Wait, re- today to just today before I got here, and it was like this deep, overwhelming like realization of like how much I genuinely like love him. And it's so weird. And I uh, called my sister. Uh, oh, Where in okay. Thailand? Where'd you? Come? <laughs> <laughs> no, where's, how far? Hey. Thailand. We where did yeah, yeah. you we, say you grew up? Philippines? Hey, I grew up in the Philippines, but I... Um, you call her like... Like Moore's Code, that language. Tinder. We met Tinder, we met on Tinder when Tinder was like... Back in the day when it was like new. 12. When it was classy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was classy. At, at some point, it was, in the beginning, we didn't know what it was. Yeah. It, it was just fun, you know? I look at people like, how'd you meet mom? Well, I was taking a shit and I swiped right. <laughs> <laughs> I went, oh, there she is. Yeah. Well, that's essentially what happened, and then yeah. I would drive to Long Beach, and we went on dates, and it was incredible. You showed, you made time for her oh. every time you showed up. Mm-hmm. Y- yeah, I went extra lengths to get to her. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I would made the effort, yeah. and I think that's important. I thought yeah. you met her in the Philippines. You met her here in California. I mean, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm just, what a weird interjection, dude. I'm just Christ. asking. No, that was really good. Dude. Roll your eyes back. Now. I was like, no, 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 hi me, hi me. You haven't talked all day, right? <laughs> And in your mind, you're like, oh, when, when, when can I go? When can I go? No, yeah, so that's when you went. <laughs> what? Well, was yeah, yeah. Why'd you make him a cartoon? Yeah, what, <laughs> what accent? Was I don't know. That? When do I go? When do I go? When do I go? When do I go? So Olé. that's like, how long have you been thinking? Uh, by five Since seconds. I started talking. Or, right. I was like, they have Tinder in the Philippines. And they actually do. They, they actually do. do. Yeah. Like in the, fact, you know what? Um, hi, mate. They have electricity as well. Yeah. They do. And shoes. And yeah. potable water. Yeah, believe yeah, it or not. They have everything there. Potable. Clothing. Yeah. Is it potable or potable? I don't know, but it, you know what it means. Yeah, or, like say it. Well, You're the right. way I know it is like potable means it's you put drinkable. It, yeah, drinkable. So fucking call it drinkable. Oh, why do we need well, the Why do they call it p- potable? Is drinkable? Yeah. Yeah, potable water is like access to clean water that you can drink. Whoa! Like this water is not potable means don't drink it. Whoa! Yeah. Jaime, you know I was just joking, right? About what? When I was like. <laughs> Right, good. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's doing great. What's your job here, Jaime? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, Neither Jay, are we. Jay, <laughs> Jay so uh, okay. Ralph Barboza, was I saying it right? Yeah. Ralph Barboza, Barboza brought him, young comic from Texas, and he just came one day, and I go, what the hell is that? Right? And, <laughs> and Ralph goes, oh, that's my friend, bro. And I go, and we talk to him. So let's make, it, let's make him the third mic? So we fly him out all the time. Why should these guys get a crack at it? Right, right, right. <laughs> they've, they've, I've had, We've had 10 tries. years. We've had tries. 10 yeah. years. Anyway, so let's go to the, uh, Malibu, Adderall, and oh, then yeah, yeah. A big intervention. Yeah, so you have to lie to get a drug addict to their intervention. Did you have an intervention? Mm-mm. Oh, God no, bless we, you. We tried. Because I got, no, I got sober when I was 17, and when I was 17, I stayed sober until I was almost 30. Wait, you forgot. So, no, just let me stop. Okay. <laughs> and I went to meetings. So every time I would go out, I already knew where to go almost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would maybe need detox or whatever, but I was, were, I was like, no, I know. You were loitering do. with intent to recover. Yeah, yeah. I so that like Colin Quinn, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like his last relapse, though, we did um, 
have our own small intervention between the three of us, and um, I don't think he remembers it. I don't remember what was this, what was said. It was in this room, like and after it a was podcast, so. saying like, "Hey, like you're absolutely falling apart," and you know, like, Norco's, no pills, no booze, just booze and old school and weed. And, and weed. Yeah, like I was, you know, I would take a thousand milligrams a day. You ever fall asleep with a cock ring on? <laughs> I feel like he, answer I feel that. Like answer he, that. Answer he does that, that sober. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have one on right now. <laughs> no, um, you ever wake up and be yeah, like, uh oh? Yeah, yeah. Is a cock ring solid? Because I have rings that vibrate. But what's yours? No, I don't have one now. Oh, oh you know, But did you ever have one? Yeah, my my housekeeper found it, and yeah. I told her, uh, hmm. oh, that's you know, when I write because I write so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every time. <laughs> Every time I hit the space bar, yeah. I'm getting carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> so I put that on my thumb. So it, you know, it's like <laughs> a it's like a cushion. And then for months, yeah. she'd be in the kitchen cleaning. It's an open floor plan. Like, <laughs> and I would put this fucking cock yeah. ring on and be like, <laughs> "Is it solid metal? Metal? Yeah. No, it's not metal. It's rubber. It's rubber. Okay. Metal. Mm -hmm. Metal. Yeah. Don't do people have a cock ring? What are you a metal? steer? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just I, I, always, I, I don't have a cock ring. I have a. Is it metal? Um. Well, Naked Bruce at uh, Burning Man had a metal one. There we go. Thank you so yeah. much, George. Naked Bruce. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He would okay. always greet you. He was one of the main people that greeted okay. you. Right on, Naked Bruce. Yeah, right on, Bruce. Bruce. Um, so Naked the Bruce. lie they told me to get to my intervention was, you know, I, my podcast was going then. Oh, boy, I got out of the podcast at the wrong time. You guys are making <laughs> money. It's like I don't want to talk about squatty potty. <laughs> yeah. I did uh, yours a bunch of times, remember? Back yeah, of back course back I do. You're yeah. one of my favorite guests. Uh, I was told the next morning for the podcast at 8 a.m. I was going to interview Wu-Tang Clan. Mm -hmm. And you believe that? That's how high I was. Damn. Wow. I thought... All of them. Wu-Tang Clan was coming to my house <laughs> at, at 8 o'clock in the morning. Wow, 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 wow. I thought the eight blackest men alive... <laughs> <laughs> we're going to set eight different alarm clocks. Including ODB? In. No, eight. I said eight. <laughs> so that I could walk, come into my cracker, cracker house <laughs> so I could interview yeah. them and help them with their career, put them over the top. <laughs> A little grandiose. Yeah.